Up next, terrorists attack Boston? What a wicked pisser! All right, buddy. You want more super news? You got it. After all, the most powerful man in the world. people. We believe it was an anarchist group posing as Indians called the Sons of Liberty. Their war cry, join or die. But, but, but I thought everyone loved us. I thought we were the fun empire. Not according to George Washington. He was born into a wealthy family, but soon joined a militia and proved himself on the field of battle. They say he once... Chop down a cherry tree for no reason at all. Evil truly knows no bounds. Men, we fight for the country in which we were born. The land on which lay our futures and the futures of our children. So I say we not stand in a line wearing brightly colored uniforms and get shot at. I say we hide behind things and shoot at them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. yeah no, no, that's that's a good idea. I say okay. drive like a carriages yeah. on the right-hand side of the road. Oh, yes. yes. Let's switch yes. it up. Oh, Let's switch oh, it up. Oh, I love I that. I say we pronounce aluminium aluminum. Oh! oh and our shining yeah. example will spread our way of life across the globe. God bless America! Things are going great. We're just gonna stay the course. Sir, where the hell is George Washington? <sighs> Sir, why can't we find him and win this war? Well, as you know, there are known knowns, those things we know we know, and unknown knowns. That is to say, we do not know if we know we know that we know that information as of yet. That's a great plan you got there. Yippee-ki-yay, you motherfucker! <gasps> Begin operation, this land is our land! Hasta la vista, baby! Oh, dear! <gasps> Welcome to America, bitch! <gasps> it's no use, sir! Their one line isn't too strong! Yeah. They have superior thing power! Oh. <laughs> 
You got sick. <laughs> well, let me see if I can explain this. Uh, uh, well, you see, it's a coalition of countries who, who could economically benefit from a more stable new world. And why should we help you? You are uptight English muffins! Because we, we share common values. Uh, I mean... Go on. Well, what if someone were to try to overthrow your empire? <laughs> no one would ever attack the French. <laughs> what, you think the people are going to cut off Marie Antoinette's head? <laughs> we will help you if you have sex with our cross sandwich boy. We are the world order. A group of terrorists are threatening that order. Either you're with us or you're against us. I do not see anybody humping our cross sandwich, boy. Neither do I. Quel dommage. Oh, man, I'm so stoked the French were on our side in this thing. All right, high five, bro. <laughs> oh! On behalf of all Americans, I would like to say thank you to the French. Without France, there would be no America. So, we owe you one. Okay. A homo says what? What? <laughs> oh, it's a homo! It's confounded! Why are we still fighting this war? We're stronger, we're smarter, and we're better armed. Why can't we control them? Because they're fighting for their homeland. Doesn't matter that we're right. It doesn't matter that we want what's best for them. As long as they feel like someone's controlling their future from overseas, well, they're going to resist. So what then? We just let them go? Washington is a madman! Only if he loses. If he wins, he's a hero. <sighs> This treaty declares that His Majesty recognizes the 13 colonies to be free and independent states. <laughs> so, we're cool now, right? No hard feelings? So long as you never stand in the way of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness!